Plaintiff Will Robinson says he and the defendant grew up together, but Will claims the defendant completely changed in 2010 when he became a male stripper. Will's suing his former friend today because he's withholding Will's tools. Defendant Cody Rayburn says he's not just a stripper, he's a male entertainer who takes pride in his profession. Cody's countersuing for an unpaid loan. Start with you. Well, Cody and I grew up together. His mom and I are best friends. And like we did everything together. And in 2010, Cody started acting different when he became Showtime male stripper. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then oh. he's, yeah, he's doing pretty good for himself. Actually, really? he's been on Conan, uh, Chocolate City 2. Um, he had an offer for Chippendales. I told him I like to go. He said, it's not Chunkendales. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't think that was funny. And then uh, he's so busy that after working at his house, I've been trying to get my tools and just can't get a hold of him and get my tools back. All right. Sir, let me hear from you. Well, Your Honor, first off, I'm not a stripper. I'm, this ain't no slinging party over here, all right? <laughs> I am a... I am a true entertainer, and uh, I started about five years ago, and... I did not know how to dance or perform or anything on that level. Tried out for fun, doing a little amateur night and won and realized the, the type of money you can make, how you could travel the world and hopefully it would lead to other avenues and, and now it has and I just feel very blessed and privileged that it has and I don't really think that he respects my profession and what I do and I, I think he's, it's just rude. He didn't say he disrespects it. No, I'd like to dance too. Defy, yeah, yeah, he said he wanted to do the same thing. Yeah. Doyle has mentioned it to me a time or two. Yeah. <laughs> so no, you better stay here with me. I got the uniform for it. Yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> he could. Uh, he could definitely. That's right. <laughs> it, it wouldn't be a bachelorette party yeah. if you didn't no. if you didn't have a police officer right. come there. <laughs> now I'll take I'll take you to the next show. We'll do a duet together. I'll, there you I'll, go. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll ruin your business, no <laughs> doubt. <laughs> All right. Tell me why you're suing your friend. Um, uh, in the end of September, October, I painted his house. I'm a painter. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, I went on to do another job, and I just left some tools at Cody's house because he kept saying, I didn't finish, I didn't finish. And I said, I'll come back. But then every time I go back, he's not around. He's traveling, doing erotic stuff, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever set an appointment with him? A lot. Okay, how many approximately? Probably five, six times and easy. And what would happen? I show up and he wasn't there, or his roommates are there and said, he said, give us the hundred bucks, you can have your tools, but I didn't okay. want to give it to them. All right, so are you saying that he's been withholding the tools yes. because of the $100? Yes. Defendant Cody Rayburn is being sued by his former friend, who claims Cody changed five years ago after he became a male stripper. All right, and how does he owe you $100? He owes me $100 because I had to pay one of his employees. And he said he was going to return the money and never When did. was that? That was back on the 11th of November. All right. And, but that was after he had completed the work and was requesting his tools back. Right. All right. So why haven't you given him his tools? Uh, just because he didn't pay me the 100 that he said he was going to pay me to. Yeah, but the 100 didn't come until November. He did the work, and you were withholding his tools since October. Has he scheduled times to come and pick up the tools, and you've told him he can't get them because of the $100? Yes. All right. And uh, you didn't know, obviously, that that's illegal to uh, keep someone's property in lieu of payment unless that was an agreed-upon arrangement, meaning his tools are serving as collateral. But certainly that wasn't because the loan didn't come until after you withheld his tools um, because he couldn't get them from October to November. And the loan, $100, was in November. And so you are now saying to him he cannot get his $2,000 worth of tools because of $100 <coughs> that you loaned him a month later. You're illegally withholding his property. Your counterclaim for 100, you do owe him that? Mm -hmm. All right, and why haven't you paid him? It is just hard to get a hold of him. And He's here today. <laughs> My tools aren't, though. Huh? My tools aren't here. All right, 
over and say that. Say I'm <laughs> not giving him his one hundred dollars until Tell he my gives tool. me my tools. Yeah. If you don't get your property within thirty days, you are awarded two thousand dollars, and you will be awarded the one hundred dollars. Okay. All mm -hmm. right. Good luck to you, boy. We're gonna do a little dance. Let's just, let's just be family friends again, yeah. man. I'll always love Cody. I'd say we do a before and after show, but he doesn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> he just got a little little weight yeah. to lose. Right. Then maybe, then maybe we could. Put I told him there's the a lot of chubby chasers out there, though. But I, I, I think bottom line, I mean, we, we yeah. bury the hatchet. Yeah. We're, you yeah. know, um, we always good now. Love. We're family friends. We can't be yeah. hating on each other anyway. So. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's right. good. It's all good. Yeah.